Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom mock-up in Canva. And we're going to do this uh, two different ways. One way, I'm going to show you what happens when we have a bottle and there is no label, what Canva creates for us. And then I'll show you how to work around placing labels on bottles to create that mock-up that you want. So I'm going to start off by going to my elements section and I'm going to place a bottle on my workspace. This is the bottle I'm going to use right here. And um, now that we have this bottle on our workspace, you can see it doesn't have a label on it. Um, but we're going to go ahead through the process of asking Canva to create a custom mockup for us. So we're going to click on Edit. And that side pop panel is going to open up for us. We're going to go and click on right underneath apps. It's called mockups. We're going to click that. And at the top, there's going to be the option to create a custom mockup. And that's what we're going to use. Now, take note that this is a Canva Pro feature. You must have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, there is an affiliate link in my description that you can use to get 30 days of Canva Pro free so that you can try things out and see if you like it and you want to subscribe to a monthly or to an annual plan. I'm going to click on the create uh, a mock-up template. And the other thing that you should note is that you cannot use Pro elements for this. You have to use free elements and the bottle happens to be a free element. And this is what it has created for us. Now, don't be too disappointed and don't leave just yet um, because I know that we were expecting a label and it didn't do that, but I've got a work around. So hang around, don't leave. Now, the first one here that is created for us creates a frame behind the bottle. This one here has got a frame of the bottle cap. And this one had also is a frame of the bottle cap, but just the top uh, portion. I'm going to select this one so that we can try out a little bit. And I'm going to click on the purple button to say confirm. All right, so now we have our mock up with that frame. I'm going to go over to uploads and grab the label that I created. This is the label that I created. And I can just grab this and just drag and drop it right in there. And it's going to go into that uh, frame up top. Now I can either double click or I can click and select edit. It does the same thing. That's going to open up our mock-up editor where we can adjust that image. So here is the image right here. You're going to notice right underneath that there's an option to fill, which is already selected or fit. And that's what it would look like if we fit it. I'm going to apply that change just so that you can see what that looks like. So that's what that looks like. So that is fit. I'm going to revert back to fill. And that's what that would look like. Now we have the option to move this um, side to side or move it up and down. We can also uh, crop it if we wanted to and we can adjust it or we can make it huge and just leave it like that if we wanted to. There's an option to smart crop. So that's what it would look like if it was going to smart crop. There's an option for alignment where we can move it to the left, to the center or to the right. We can move it to the top, middle or the bottom. Um, so that pretty much does the same thing as if we were going to take it and move it like that. We also have the option to flip it. So we can flip it horizontally if we wanted to, and we can also flip it vertically. So I'll just set that back. And there's also the um, option to just detach the image. So that's pretty much how we use the mock-up editor. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the process of, um, creating a label on this bottle and going through that mock-up process again. Now you can use a bottle, you can use a box, you can use a cream container, you can use any kind of element that you want to create a mock-up and then put it against a background. Um, but I'm going to continue to use this bottle just so that I can show you a workaround. 
So I'm going to create a, another page. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to take this bottle and I'm going to delete it. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to come back up to elements, uh, to my recent elements. And I'm just going to put that bottle back on my workspace. I'm going to place a rectangle on my workspace. Now I can either select the rectangle from my left panel or I can press R and that will place a rectangle on my workspace. I'm going to place the rectangle as I would want my label uh, to appear on this bottle. And I'm not going to bring it all the way to the edge on the uh, right side and on the left side, because I, what I want Canva to do is to actually create that shadow that we see along the edge. And so then my label will just wrap around with that shadow. Now I'm going to take my rectangle and I'm actually going to change the color. Now you can change the color of your label to anything that you like. Um, through trial and error, I found that bright colors work very, very well, but just keep in mind that if your label is smaller than uh, your actual label is smaller than the label that you are creating on the bottle, then you will see that residual color uh, appear outside of your label. So you might want to choose white, gray. Uh, I'm going to change this to hot pink because I'm going to make sure that my label covers the whole frame. So I'm going to take this label and I'm actually going to change it to this nice hot pink. It's one of my favorite colors. I'm going to come on over here I'm, because I'm fairly satisfied with my label. I'm going to share it. I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it as transparent and I only want page two. So I'll click download. I'll go over to my next page. I'm going to grab that download and bring it into my workspace. Here it is right here. And we're going to go through the same process all over again. We're going to click our image. We're going to go to edit. We're going to click on the mock-up and up at the top, we're going to say create custom mock-up. Now, again, it's going to work its magic and give us a few different options in terms of mock-ups for this bottle. And here we have this one right here where the whole bottle is a frame. Again, we're seeing the bottle cap. Uh, we're seeing the background turned into a uh, frame. And over here is what I was actually looking for, which is uh, the label turned into a frame. So I'm going to click this one right here and I'm going to say confirm. And I'll make that a little bit larger. We can see from our label that it's actually created that very nice shadow with the frame. So I'm going to go over to my uploads. I'm going to grab my frame and I'm going to drag and drop it right inside. OK, so here is my frame. Again, we can um, double click or we can click and select edit to access the mockup editor. Here we have it right here. I'm going to grab this and make it a lot larger like that. And again, we notice that when we're moving it around, we'll get those purple lines kind of signifying uh, that we've centered our design both uh, vertically and horizontally. I'm going to click on apply changes so that we can take a closer look at that. And this is what it's looking like right now. I'm pretty happy with this right now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a copy of this and I now want to put the um, nutrition label right in here. So I'm going to move it over like this. And I'll click apply changes. So there it is right now. Now we can see that there's a little bit of that purple there. So you can either when you're designing your label, make it a little bit longer for that white, or we can 
also just move it back uh, a little bit but we'll get a little bit of that line coming through there so i'm actually okay with this and let's take um both of these so i'm gonna grab both of them i'm gonna copy them and i'm gonna actually place them right here on my design There's the one. Let me grab the other one. I thought I had the other one selected as well, but I guess I didn't. So there's the second one, and I'm going to put that right there. But I'm going to go to position and layers, and I'm going to move that one right in the back there. So there you go. There is going to be a little bit of trial and error when you are trying to create some mock-ups. Is this something that you would use did you like this tutorial? Let me know in the comments. If there's anything else that you want to see, leave that in the comments as well. And if you want to join my live sessions, ask me and I'll let you know. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.